I guess I've been thinking about retirement for a little while now and um, you know the last few seasons I've sort of just been going year to year and sort of assessing things at the end of each season and you know it was a really really difficult decision um, you know I feel I still felt you know I probably could have played another year or um, at least contributed in some way for a little bit longer I think just mentally and physically I sort of uh, felt it was the right time to, to move on and try something new and um, yeah, spoke to plenty of people, a lot of guys who uh, who have played before me and, and obviously retired and, you know, they gave me all sorts of different advice and, you know, that was really valuable in, in helping me make my decision and um, it would have been great to go out obviously in the grand final and we nearly got there, but, um, you know, it wasn't to be. Yeah, I think the, the trophies are the things that, you know, now that you're retired, they're the things you look back on and and cherish the most. You know, looking back, I guess I've achieved more than I, I would have ever hoped to when I first started out as a 17-year-old back in the old NSL days. You know, if you would have told me back then that I'd be able to play for over 20 years professionally and play for a number of clubs in Australia, play for teams overseas, play for your national team, you know, I would have, uh, you know, bitten your arm off to take that. So just, I guess, really humbled and, and uh, lucky to have been able to, and privileged, I guess, to be able to play for this long and Played with so many great teams, so many great players, and um, yeah, it's been a, a wonderful ride. When you sort of start out in a professional capacity for any sport, you know, the pinnacle of that is to play for your national team. You know, that's, that's the best thing you can do, and I was able to do that, um, you know, a few times, be part of a World Cup, which was obviously a, a wonderful experience. It's something that I'll forever look back on with, with fond memories. Some of the players that I was lucky enough to line up at the World Cup against, you know, um, you know, for Spain there was Torres, Iniesta, Fabregas. Um, for Chile it was Alexis Sanchez, and for the Dutch it was Van Persie and Robben. So those sorts of guys, you know, you get exposed to at international level was was obviously the highlight. So, um, I guess the grand final wins here at Sydney. To be able to win the, the few grand finals here that we did was, was wonderful to be a part of. And just that, I guess that 16, 17 season as well was a, was a huge highlight. The way we sort of, you know, broke all those records throughout the season and then managed to finish it off with a, with a dramatic grand final win as well. I guess that sort of sticks out as well. You know, Laurie McKenna was the one who, who first got me into to Northern Spirit and, and took me up to the Mariners to start my A-League career. So obviously very grateful for the impact he had on my, my career. And then Graham Arnold, um, you know, I was lucky enough to work with him at the Mariners and then also back here at Sydney FC. So he's had a huge impact on, on my career and everything I've done. And, and then lastly, obviously Bimby, who I've now been um, working under for a number of years here at Sydney, you know, he was, the one that had enough faith in me to, to let me lead this club and, and make me captain and for me that's been one of the you know the highlights of my career being able to obviously captain your hometown club um, it's a huge honour and something that that I'll never forget. Yeah I'd obviously like to also thank all my teammates who I played with at various clubs over the years um, you know I think that's the thing that I'm going to miss most now that um, I'm retiring is you know, that camaraderie, that, that banter, that fun you have every day coming into, into training and, you know, spending time with, with great people and, and great teammates. And, um, you know, they're a part of the reason why I've been able to play so long and, um, you know, have, have not retired, I guess, in the last few years. It's just that I'm having so much fun um, with the group of players that we sort of have here at Sydney FC. So. Thank you to them especially, but also all the, uh, the teammates that came before them as well. I guess most importantly, I'd love to thank my family. I think, you know, my wife and two kids who have been there supporting me throughout. They've followed me all over the, all over the world to essentially let me live my dream and have sacrificed a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff in between. It's, it's not easy having a partner who um, is a professional athlete. Um, you know, you miss a lot of things on weekends um, and uh, you know, they got to put up with the, the mood swings after losses and the, uh, you know, the up and down of emotions week in, week out. So I appreciate everything they've obviously done for me. And then also my parents and my sister who, who've been there from day one. And without them, you know, I never would have had the chance to be a professional footballer without their sacrifice and commitment to driving me around all over New South Wales to play games every weekend. Um, 
you know, that without them I never would have had the chance, so I really appreciate that.